let's take a look at the F-35s that have been spotted with chrome-like finishes, what that means for the Lightning, and how other aircraft with the same coating could work together. Recently, some F-35Cs have been spotted flying out of Naval Base Ventura County or NBVC in California with a distinct chrome or mirror-like finish. These aircraft belong to the Navy's Air Test and Evaluation Squadron 9, or VX-9, also known as the Vampires. This is an interesting and apparently continuing trend, as there have also been reports of F-22 Raptors and even evidently still operational F-117 Nighthawks with similar coatings. While the exact purpose of these coatings is still classified, speculation is that they assist in reducing the aircraft's infrared signature while not degrading existing stealth characteristics. Interestingly, in August of this year, the NBVC Public Affairs Office sent out a press release stating that the base would host approximately 50 aircraft, some of which would be supporting multiple test events. The official reason given for the increased activity was to provide unit-level training for pilots and air crews at the nearby sea range. However, given the concurrent sightings of these specially coated VX-9 F-35Cs, along with EA-18G Growlers and Super Hornets that are also assigned to VX-9, it would seem to indicate that rigorous testing exercises are being held to evaluate the effectiveness of these new coatings. The selection of the F-35C as a testbed to represent the Lightning variants is compelling. After all, the C model is purpose-built for Naval CV Cattle Bar or Catapult Assisted Takeoff but Assisted Recovery Operations. The C model also has the largest wingspan of the three Lightning variants, so this may play into the testing program when it comes to total surface area. However, as previously mentioned, given the fact that the Air Force's F-22s and F-117s have also been spotted with similar coatings, it is possible that the Navy and Air Force have combined their efforts to test distinct airframes with this new application. Why would these three aircraft with different mission designs be given these coatings? If we take a deeper dive into how these three types might operate, we can envision a combined scenario involving these three aircraft. For example, the F-117s could serve as forward deployed reconnaissance assets, assessing and detecting enemy air defenses while remaining stealthy. F-35s could then engage identified targets in a suppression of enemy air defenses, or SEED, role. While the F-22s could fly top cover in a low observable combat air patrol, or CAP, role. In this way, these stealth assets could perform a combined arms action against a heavily defended or high value target. These mirror-like coatings would likely degrade the performance of enemy passive optical and infrared sensors, such as infrared search and track or IRST platforms allowing for longer operating times while remaining undetected. Before we continue with other uses of the new coatings, today's video is brought to you by Morning Brew, a totally free daily newsletter delivered right to your inbox Monday through Sunday. It takes me just a few minutes to get caught up on everything going on in the world that is important to how I operate. It's just five minutes to get from top to bottom, and if there's something that catches my eye that I want to drill down on a little bit more, I can. Whether that's how Harvard may lose its richest school status to the University of Texas, or how nuclear energy is making a steamy comeback. And if there isn't anything that catches my attention, I haven't wasted pointless hours browsing the internet. On top of this, Morning Brew's writing is witty, punchy, and most importantly, straight to the point. There really isn't a reason not to subscribe to Morning Brew, especially if you're interested in finance, business, or tech, and you value your time. Again, it's completely free and takes just 15 seconds to sign up. So go ahead, click the link morningbrewdaily.com slash pilotphotog to sign up and help this channel for free. And now, back to the lightning and other potential uses of the new coatings. Just like the Raptor's mirror-like coatings, the ones currently being fielded by the F-35Cs are also likely being used as a testbed for the next generation Air Dominance or NGAD fighter. The Air Force refers to this testing with their Raptors as the Advanced Technology Development or ATD program. While there is not currently a known name for the Navy equivalent, it is likely that similar tests are being performed with the VX-9 F-35Cs. Aside from the new coatings, the ATD and equivalent programs would introduce new hardware and software technologies that not only would be used on the NGAD fighter, but also likely incorporated into the F-35 and F-22 fleets as future upgrades. If you'd like to learn more about the specially coded F-22s, I've done another video all about the Chrome Raptor, link in the description below. 
Getting back to the Lightning, since there appears to be active research underway on the coding of the F-35C, we can assume that the findings will be applied to the A and B models as well. This is significant, since the global F-35 fleet is growing each month, with the most common variant being the Air Force's A version that includes an internal 25mm gun. And when it comes to adoption rates, the numbers speak for themselves. To date, there have been over 840 F-35 aircraft delivered, with more than 1,750 pilots trained, over half a million flight hours logged, and there are Lightnings operating at 36 bases worldwide, including 10 aircraft carriers. Along with this, recent acquisitions by Finland, Canada, and soon Germany have made the F-35 the fifth generation fighter of the West. It is no coincidence that all these acquisitions by allied nations are coming at a time when geopolitical tensions are on the rise. So how would the Lightning perform as it becomes a part of so many distinct air forces? Along with full sensor fusion, one of the game-changing components of the F-35 is the Lightning's Multifunction Advanced Data Link or MAD-L. This next generation data link expands on the types of missions that allied F-35s can undertake, while allowing for real-time sharing of targeting data among other allied assets. Fourth generation pilots spend much of their time processing and prioritizing threats. The Lightnings do this automatically. This is why almost every pilot that has flown the Lightning says they would not go back to 4th gen. Effectively, MAD-L allows NATO and other allied countries to conduct integrated operations, which opens up the possibilities for missions that were previously not possible. This has already been shown in recent war games, when allied partners demonstrated this ability to full effect, allowing Lightnings to find and destroy targets from ranges where it was able to remain undetected. This effectively pushes the operational tactical scenarios much further out, giving F-35 pilots time to detect, lock, and destroy a target before it even knows there's a lightning on the scene. Along with sensor fusion, the MAD-L system is making the F-35 a battlefield data manager and an aerial quarterback in the sky. Perhaps now we can begin to understand why so many nations are making the lightning their fifth generation fighter of choice. However, as far ahead that the F-35 is today, development is not at a standstill by any measure. Along with increasing adoption rates, there are more planned or proposed upgrades for the Lightning. One such example is the Air Force's Adaptive Engine Transition Program, or AETP, the goal of which is to place a revolutionary engine design into the F-35A and C variants. The B version will likely follow. The new engine is what is known as an Adaptive Cycle Engine. This type of engine automatically produces two distinct modes of operation, high thrust output for combat maneuvers or high efficiency performance for extended loiter times. General Electric has developed a working prototype designated the XA100. In recent tests, GE's new engine has shown a 20% increase in thrust along with a 30% increase in range. Additionally, the new engine runs much cooler which allows for increased electrical power generation for the aircraft. This increased power output allows the Lightning to run even more advanced systems not possible on other platforms. Two such examples are directed energy weapons or lasers and the Navy's plan laser-induced plasma filament hologram. This system would project the heat signature of another aircraft hundreds of feet away from its host to distract and decoy heat-seeking infrared missiles. Improving thermal management also allows for up to two times system architecture growth, providing ample opportunity for future demands as the F-35 platform grows and matures. Given all of this, we can see that the chrome or mirror-like coatings are essentially one of many upgrade initiatives that are being worked on for the F-35 fleet. Like it or not, the Lightning is simply becoming the de facto fighter for Western nations, combining stealth, multi-role capabilities, sensor fusion, and drone integration into one platform. As a result, as more nations adopt and purchase the F-35, per-unit costs and operational costs go down. In fact, the cost per flight hour of the Lightning fleet has gone down by 50% since 2015, and the purchase price of an F-35A is lower than most fourth-generation fighters. What do you think? Will the F-35's mirror-like coatings become an operational reality? What is the advantage of a mirror-like coating? Let me know in the comments below. I'd like to again thank the sponsor of this video, Morning Brew. Be sure to sign up for their free newsletter today. I'd also like to thank my patrons and channel members who directly contribute to videos like these getting made. If you'd like to help me make more videos like this one, 
I'll leave a link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and now you know.